In this video, I'm gonna show you how to overlay text on top of images in Webflow. We're gonna go over two primary strategies, and then I'm gonna show you how you can also position that text on different parts of the image. So as you can see here, these two top images are the same. They're just built a little bit differently. But then in these two bottom images, we're positioning the text into different corners of the image. So we're gonna cover all of this in this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and we'll try our best to get back to you. Okay, so the first method for overlaying text on top of images will be this guy right here. So currently how we have this set up, both the image and the text is within a div called a grid item. Now there's no styles being applied to this grid item other than overflow hidden and a border radius. Other than that, that's the only style applied. This method would work regardless if we had grid item or not. Actually, if I remove grid item, you can see it works perfectly. It's just that we were adding in the border radius and the overflow hidden which was required to make the border radius work. So we're just gonna rebuild this from scratch so I can show you how this works. So we're gonna drop in a new div. We're gonna call this image wrapper two. And then we're going to drop an image inside of that div. We're just gonna call this image two. And then we are going to drop in some text. I already have a class for this, it's just called text. And now we are almost good to go. Okay, perfect. Now with our image wrapper, we are just going to have a width of 100%, height of 100%. You can make this whatever you need, but for this section, that's the height and width that I want. I'm going to set my position to position relative so that we can select our image and make this position absolute. We're gonna select full, and then we are going to make the width 100% and the height 100%. And then we are going to add the image. And then we have one more thing to do, and that is to go to fit, and we want it to set to cover so that it doesn't shrink the image or 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 whatnot. Now, as you can see, we have our image in the background and we have our text in the foreground, but our text is up in the corner. What we need to do is select our image wrapper. And then from here, we want to sec set the layout to flex and then set the alignment to center. And then from there, we now have our text perfectly overlaid on top of our image and this works Great. Now, before I show you the second way of doing this, the second way is actually a much easier way. However, I want you to know how to do the first way because this method of putting text on top of an image is much better if you want to add an animation to the background image. So for example, say you want to add an animation every time my mouse goes over this box, it zooms in the background image, but not the text. Well, we can actually do that really easily. We want to select our image wrapper two, go to interactions, set an element trigger, mouse hover, on hover in, or on hover. We are going to create a new animation just called on hover. And then we're going to select our image. We're gonna select scale. We're gonna make this first keyframe um, an initial state. We're gonna set the X, to one, and then we are going to go select another scale keyframe. We're gonna make the duration 0.5 seconds. We're gonna set it the easing to ease, and then for the scale, we're gonna do 1.1 1. 1. 1 is good. And these two, the X and the Y for both the first keyframe and the last, they should be locked. So as I'm setting the X axis, it's automatically updating the Y axis. But if yours are unlocked, just make sure you are setting both of these values the same for both, both keyframes. All right, let's see how that looks. Perfect. So now let's go to preview mode. I hover over this box. And as you can see, it nicely animates. Now let's add 
on hover out animation. So we're going to start a new animation. We're going to call it on hover out. We're basically going to do everything we just did, but we're going to do it in reverse. So we're going to select scale and we're going to do 1.5 ease and we're going to put the scale back to one and then we are good to go. Now, if we enter preview mode, you can see this animation works beautifully. Now with our second method, our second method for overlaying text on an image is much easier. However, it's not as easy to add animations to the background. So if you just need a static layout, the next, an the next method will be the easiest to do. But if you're gonna wanna animate that card, then you will want to do the first route. So for the second option, we just have two elements. We have grid item and text. So I'm just going to delete this and show you how we built this. So I'm going to add in a new div, drag it to that second position. And then I already had a class for this grid item. Remember, this is the element that I said the only styles it has applied is overflow hidden and radius. But for this element, I added a second class is second and I'll show you what styles have applied. So I will just do is third. This is just a combo class so that I don't change the styles for the other one. So for this, all we have to do is scroll down, go to backgrounds, select image and gradient. We want to select our image, choose image. We will choose our mountain image. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much, it's really zoomed in. So we want to set our position to center, our size to cover and then we are we are good to go. Then within this grid item, we're still in our div, we want to just drop in our text, give this our class name text, and then from here, with our grid item selected, we can set the layout to flex, and then align it to the center and then we are good to go. So this uh, uh, method is a lot easier to do, but like I said, it's harder to animate. Now for these two boxes down here, um, we're gonna go into how you can align the text to different uh, sides of the image. So if we select this first one, this uses the second method that we use to place text on an image, where we just have a grid, item, div, and text. And remember for this grid item, we set the flex to align to the center. Well, if we can actually select anywhere on this little grid here in the style panel and align the text accordingly. So it's actually really easy to do. So as you use this strategy to build your website, check out the description below where we have a free 148 point landing page checklist where we go over everything you need to do when setting up new pages.